Hi guys, my name is Ivana and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to watch my video. So recently I did a video on my Kurt Geiger collection and I really wanted to continue this series of collection videos. I get asked a lot by you guys to do a full handbag collection video and while I would love to do that, I think that that would be way, way, way too long. So I think a good way for me to break this up and to show all of my bags is to break them up by designer. And so today I thought I would start with my Michael Kors collection. I haven't done an updated video on my Michael Kors bags in quite some time. And I have a couple bags that I have not shown yet. So I thought this would be a good time. Also, I sometimes toy with the idea of selling some of these bags because I don't really carry them too often. But I have to admit, now that I have taken them out and looked at them and taken, you know, all the tags out and written down the information and measured them and it's hard for me to let go. What is wrong? I have been trying to do this condense my bag collection down because having so many bags frankly does stress me out a little bit but then I see them and I love them and I can't bear to let them go. With that let's get into the collection. I have to admit also that I am not as familiar with Michael Kors bags so I actually couldn't remember a lot of the names. I had to go into the bags and thank goodness I keep all the tags in there and I could see all the names and also when I purchased them and where I purchased them. So I have all of that information for you guys too. So let's get started. So the first bag is this tote bag right here. And it is the, and pardon me for not knowing this name, but the tag says that it is the JSTRV medium carry all tote in the colors black and ash gray with the center stripe. It is coated cotton in the signature and this I believe is Safiano leather. The measurements are approximately, and I did not look up the measurements online for these bags. I just measured them with my little measuring tape. So this is approximate. The length is 13 inches on the bottom, 15 inches across the top. It is 10 and a half inches high and five inches wide across the bottom. And I just thought this bag was the cutest little sporty, looking bag and I love the colors. Oh, the back is just a uh, signature coated cotton. The front has this panel of Safiano leather and this, uh, this, the trim and the handles are Safiano leather and the inside has the Michael Kors name right there in that pattern, kind of a textile lining. And it's got great organization in this bag. They probably make, I'm sure they make this bag in many other leathers and colors. So even if this one's not available anymore, you can probably get this bag right now still. So inside, it's just got all these great pockets. On the back, all of those great pockets. I think there are six separate pockets right there. And the back has a slip pocket as well. And that's perfect for the phone or anything else. So I absolutely love this bag. I carried it quite a bit when I first got it. I purchased this bag at the Michael Kors outlet and I purchased it in November of 2018. So this is bag number one. Absolutely love it. Next up is the Greenwich large grab bag in the navy and the pale blue. It is in Safiano leather. It measures 10 and a half inches long down here and 15 inches along the top, 10 inches high, six and a half inches wide at the bottom. It carries three ways. You can carry it as a satchel. It has a shoulder strap that you can hook on right here and you can carry it in this flower pot shape or you can squeeze the center sides together, clip it right here snap it closed and you've got this cute little shape right here kind of like as a, a cute little crossbody bag and the strap attaches right here when you when you use it this way I tend to carry it this way most of the time because I really like this flower pot shape 
and it's got feet on the bottom and this nice front slip pocket. The pale blue part is the interior, which is so pretty with this outer blue color. The inside has a slip pocket back here and then also incorporated into that slip pocket is another zipper pocket right there and there's no pockets on the front the interior is just made of this saffiano leather and i tend to use a bag organizer with this because it's just one big open you know compartment and i also use this pretty little bandeau which i got from a friend as a gift thank you so much you know who you are and I absolutely love this bag. I got this bag at the Michael Kors outlet in May of 2016. I actually, when I took this out today to do this video, I noticed that I still had the plastic wrap on the feet of this bag. And this has some really nice beefy feet. So that is how much I took care of this bag. It's like in brand new, excellent condition. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. And I need to get this out and carry it more because I really like blue as a spring summer color. Next up is the Bedford Medium Convertible Flap Shoulder Bag. That is a mouthful. This bag is in the beige black black colorway and it is in the jacquard fabric and this is pebbled leather this bag can be carried on the shoulder or as a crossbody or a long shoulder bag with this really cute sporty striped guitar sort of a seat belt strap and the back has a nice size slip pocket and the inside just has a zipper pocket in the back and a slip pocket in the front but the unique thing about this bag is the secret compartment or pocket that spans the whole width and length of the bag. And I thought that was just so neat. I took this bag on vacation with us to Toronto when we went there a couple of years ago. And it was a great bag. It was comfortable to carry. It carried all of my things. I could keep all of my important stuff, you know, safe in this back pocket absolutely loved it i purchased this at the michael kors outlet in september of 2019 and it's been a great bag next up is the tina medium th satchel in brown and acorn and i don't really know what th stands for i just thought this was such a pretty shape it is in the coated cotton signature and then this I believe is Safiano leather. It has a back pocket that spans across the whole bag. It does not have feet on the bottom and in addition to this satchel strap it has a shoulder strap with nice chain details and interior has nice organization. It's got a zipper pocket, two slip pockets on the back wall, and on the front wall, two slip pockets. And a nice light interior so you can see all of your things. I think this is a great kind of more dressy, flashy bag, but I would wear it anytime. This bag measures 10 inches long by seven and a half inches high and four and a half inches on the width. And I purchased this at the Michael Kors outlet in June of 2017. And when this bag was there, I had such a hard time deciding between this and then one that was in full Safiano leather in black with silver hardware. It just looked so edgy and so pretty, but I think I made the right choice. I really do love these browns together. So that is the Tina. Next up is the Aria studded medium convertible shoulder bag in the olive pebbled leather. This bag measures 10 inches long down here, nine inches long along the top, seven inches high, and three to four inches on the width. This is about three, but it really does expand more than that. I just thought this bag was so cute in its shape. And you can carry this two ways. It's got the shoulder strap here, but this is not removable. 
And it also has a crossbody strap that came with it. And I just think it's so cute carried both ways, but I really do like it in the crossbody way. I just think the shape is so cute that way. The bag has a back pocket that spans the full length of the bag. I really like that Michael Kors does that a lot. I think it gives you just easy in and out phone access. This has beautiful gold stud details and a gold logo here. This bag also has a slip pocket on the back. No, a zip pocket on the back, a slip pocket on the front, and it has that special secret pocket that, that is the whole, you know, width and length of the bag. And so, yeah, I just thought this is really cute. I really like this for fall and for winter season, though I don't really carry it too much. This little wrinkle happened here in storage. Somehow I stored it like this and I didn't have it stuffed well enough and it has this wrinkle that has stayed with the bag. But I think it's really cute. Dressy, just out shopping on the weekends, it just works. I purchased this bag at the Michael Kors outlet in July of 2018. So the rest of the bags I purchased at the Michael Kors boutique and First up is the Sloan large chain shoulder bag in the quilted smooth leather. And this feels like lambskin. I don't know if it's lambskin, but it feels really soft. The bag measures 10 inches long, six inches high, and three and a half inches on the width. It has a back pocket, the full length of the bag. It has this closure that pops open. Inside are two separate compartments and then a center zipper pocket. The back wall has a zipper pocket. And then I don't know if you can see, but these are all credit card slots back here. And there's one, two, three. There are six credit card slots there. And the front of the bag has two slip pockets that are leather trimmed. The strap is a chain strap. And I know these Sloan bags came in a couple different variations. I think they changed the design here and there. So this particular one has the leather threaded through the chain, which I really love. I think that's a pretty detail. And then it has the two shoulder pads. So you can carry this as a shoulder bag. It becomes kind of a longer shoulder bag because this chain is really long. Or you can let it thread through those holes and it becomes quite a long strap here. So this really works crossbody on me. If I try to wear this as a shoulder bag, it hangs way too low. But yeah, this is the Sloan and I don't carry this too often, but every time I take it out, I think it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I purchased this from Lord & Taylor in November of 2016, and I believe this is a boutique bag. Next up is the Tatiana Small Satchel in Admiral and Black. And this bag, I think, is just so cute. It has a little lock charm right there, and no pockets on the back, no feet on the bottom, but these kind of serve as feet. It see, measures 10 inches long, eight inches high, and four inches wide at the bottom, but it does taper quite a bit at the top, so it doesn't hold as much as it seems like it would hold. I struggle with this bag because I struggle to get all my things in here. This unclasps there, and then you can expand this. So this is really how I tend to carry it. And it does have a shoulder strap, which can be carried shoulder or crossbody. And I just think this is such a cute bag with the, the navy and the black details. I purchased this at Marshall's in April of 2019, and I believe this is a boutique bag. I am not positive, but I believe it is. Next up is the Jesse Medium Flap 
shoulder bag in leather and this is like a kind of a stiff pebble leather. It measures nine and a half long, six inches high, and three inches wide. It does not have feet on the bottom. It has an outside slip pocket. It opens in the front with a magnetic closure, and it has a shoulder strap. Now this is not long enough to be crossbody really, but it is a nice, comfortable, long shoulder strap. The interior is open compartment. It's got two, one slip pocket on the front wall and a zipper pocket on the back wall and a slip pocket back here and also a slip pocket in the front. So it's got quite a bit of organization for just being a small bag with an open cavity in the middle. And this bag is so cute on. I really just fell in love with this design. I just think it's so dressy and the color is such a vibrant red. I absolutely love it. I purchased this from the Michael Kors Boutique in February of 2021 and I absolutely love it. The final bag is the Grace Medium Envelope Clutch in leather and this is in a kind of a shiny glossy pebbled leather with silver hardware, Michael Kors logo on the back. I just thought this was so pretty. It's got a pocket on the back that easily holds a phone. It's got a magnetic snap closure, a slim front pocket here that will also hold your phone. It's got an open compartment with a slip pocket on the back wall and the front wall has some credit card slots. I just thought the chain on this bag was so pretty. Silver chain, and it has this beautiful detail right here on one side where it says Michael Kors. I don't know if you can see that, Michael Kors. And so, yeah, I thought this was so beautiful. Now, this is a pretty small bag. I, it's hard for me to carry this you know, I did carry it once shopping on a weekend, but I felt like it was kind of too dressy. And so I did lend this to my sister to wear to a wedding this year or last year and last year. And it worked really well for her. She loved it. She came shopping to my closet, by the way, and this is the bag she picked. I purchased this at the Michael Kors Boutique and I also purchased this one in February of 2021. And I think it's just so beautiful. Now, if I just had somewhere to wear it, I'd be golden. I do have three Michael Kors wallets. So this one is kind of a snake embossed with a gold plate. I'm sorry for the glare coming in the window. I'm trying to get the best light here. And it has a clear pocket on the back for your license or whatever you want to put back there. It has a snap closure, Safiano leather on the inside, which I guess I've used this one quite a bit. It is cracking on the corners. It's got a pocket up here, an open compartment here, another slip pocket here, and a zipper pocket for maybe coins or something else. I just thought this was so pretty with the gold plate and the shiny snake embossing. And yeah, I did use this quite a bit. And that's really where I'm seeing the wear and tear are those cracks in the Safiano. So it's a great wallet. Next up is this wallet right here. It's got a little bit of wear here. I don't know how to get that off either because this is kind of a weird texture. It's a sparkly black wallet with a, a window on the back with some additional credit card slots. A slot here has got silver hardware, a key ring, and inside is a slip pocket there and then nothing in the front. I can't remember when I got this, but it has been quite some years now. I believe I got this with the gift card that my son gave me for Christmas. So this is a special one for me. And then the final one is just a card case and this is silver, metallic-y, glittery. I love anything sparkly and shiny, so I had to get this one. Michael Kors metal logo there. The back has 
uh, clear pocket and then just an open pocket here and one, two, three slots on the front. I wore this out around Christmas time and I had to take it out of my purse for something to get into a bar to show my ID, I guess. Yes, I got carded and the bouncer or carding guy, whatever you want to call him, complimented this wallet. He said he loved it. So I guess that makes it a winner, right? So that concludes my whole Michael Kors collection and hopefully I didn't leave anything out. I will be back with more collection videos. So stay tuned for those and thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Ooh, I have my work cut out for me. This ought to be fun. Start the day yet. I just wanna stay, even if we run late.